hi everyone to my SNW language tutorial um, continuing my tutorial now in my previous movies I have shown you how you can run a hello world example and that one uh, I have shown so let's list it again hello dot ASM this one and after the uh, uh, compilation or after assembling you will get this executable so and it produces hello world now uh, in my previous mo movies I have told you that uh, about something about formats and I have used a weird string like uh, ELF now uh, let's let me tell you from where I got that information now uh, a nice uh, uh, option you always have that is a minus H for any command in Unix that gives you some help so we use the minus H option for the help and you will get a lot of thing out here let's take a brief look at them uh, here one is for the turbo assembler you can generate an assembly file you can add debugging information and things like that I won't tell you them all you will feel bored so let's move on so in my previous movies I have um, made that binary distribution with the command of ASM minus F E L F something like this so let me explain you how you can uh, know what what the string should be for your platform means this thing I mean sorry that ELF thing here this thing so you do one thing you use minus H then you use minus F and this will give you help on the formats and here you can get ELF 64 so I will search Linux Linux where is Linux there is Linux and there I go and I get ELF 64 Oh, that one is for 64 bit processor so this one should be fine for me so I have chosen ELF so if you have a Windows uh, platform you can choose minus F minus Win32 uh, now let me tell you a nice feature of the NSM see the source code first so from the source code you can generate um, assembly or an object module for Linux and with the same source code you can produce uh, object model for the windows so this is a nice feature of NSM and let me show you a nice feature of assembly itself so first let's clear the terminal and I want to show you a hello world C program so here it's here it is and let's uh, compile it to make an outputable output file cc hello dot c minus o hello cc so this is it and now let's execute it and you got it now we will execute our assembly produced hello world they are quite the same now let's take a look at their size ls minus l hello our assembly generated code the object module and then the hello c now uh, you make a guess what should be the size it should be 768 let's see oh you can see 9041 the same thing uh, the the C is doing the assembly is doing but it's taking almost um, just one tenth of the size in fact uh, less of it so let's take our assembly our great assembly program again so we can see for uh, certain tasks for say printing a hello world our assembly language uh, program is far better than the C program because it's smaller in size and as long as it's smaller in size it runs faster and that's why uh, so many people uh, turn their faces to assembly to produce very very fast code and when you go into embedded system the cost tend to increase along your storage so you will make things very cheap too uh, I guess you have enjoyed this video very much you know there are some other videos and um, you can get in my channel that's youtube.com therefore slash or oh, please visit there <laughs> just joking so I guess you have enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching and I will be giving more